Hi, this is Jonathan, Customer Experience Manager here at SimplyCast.com. Today we're going to talk about our blacklist application. So the first question you might have is, what is a blacklist? And what a blacklist is, is it's, a ser it's basically a service that would be ran by uh, an individual or an organization that records spam complaints from different sources. So, and there are literally over a hundred of these different blacklists out there. And basically what happens is people get spam and then they report it to these blacklists and they record the sender of the spam, so the IP address of the server that sent it. And what happens when email is delivered to you is your email system is going to look at these different blacklists and then decide if the source of the email is legitimate or not. If the source is on a blacklist, your mail system may decide that you're not going to accept the email because it's spam. So why would you want to use the Blacklist app that we have? Well, it all depends on if you're doing email through our system or not. The Blacklist app is used primarily by mail system administrators to monitor their own mail servers. We monitor, if you're doing email through our system, uh, through our email app or you know an autoresponder or 360 and so on, um, we monitor our systems for any blacklistings anyway and uh, deal with any of that stuff so you don't have to worry about it. But you know, if you're using Blacklist Monitor to monitor your own uh, servers, then you know, our server will alert you when any blacklists occur so you can take action and uh, resolve those problems. So let's talk about how you would use the actual app itself. So if you're a system administrator and you know the IP address of your server you want to check and monitor on a regular basis, you'd want to go to the Blacklist dashboard and go to add a new IP. So what I'll do is I'll just put in a, here, I'll just put in, a, I'll make one up here. 1.2.3.4. <laughs> um, and then I'll just make a note. And this is useful because you may have a lot of IPs that you're monitoring. So I'm just gonna call it uh, mail server. And then I'm just gonna hit submit. There. So now in the list, I've got the IP address, the note that I made indicating that it's my mail server. And there's also a column here that says listed. And this will tell us if the IP is placed on a blacklist or not, so that we can take action from that point. Um, there's also, you can click on, let's say it was listed. Uh, we could click on the open button here and see the details. So we could see um, if it was listed on any of these blacklists here that are, are listed, uh, it would tell us this here. And then we'd be able to tell uh, when the IP was last checked, how long it's been listed, and what we need to do to get removed. And this app is strictly uh, a monitoring system, so we'll either tell you if it's been listed or delisted. You need to contact the blacklist itself uh, to follow the removal instructions and that varies from blacklist to blacklist and we have all that information here so for example if I was listed on spam hoss which is which would be a, a pretty big deal because that's a, a very widely used one um, and I hit the info button it would tell me where I need to go and it will tell me about their delisting process and there's some instructions here that tells me who to contact in this case. So I could take action from there and get delisted. And our system will monitor uh, throughout the day uh, the status of these IPs. Um, at the very least, you can expect uh, an update about once a day. And um, what we can do too, in addition to seeing the status here uh, on the dashboard, we can set up the account here to give us notifications. So right now um, I can have it set to my primary email address in the account and I can also add additional sender addresses. So for example if I wanted to also send it to this address I have I could drag it over here to selected addresses and then I could hit save and now the system will send me alerts to my primary email and the selected address that I added here. If you have any questions, visit our FAQs or send us an email to support at simplycast.com. Thanks for watching.